how to transfer weight and stay balanced hitting the forehand short ball. So here's me about to serve. Andrew's the one about to return here. And as I serve and Andrew hits this short, shallow return, here's one footwork pattern where you need to do to hit this short ball successfully. And I call this LPH, land push hit. And so just watch what I do with my right foot first. So as I set up here, I'm landing with my right foot, landing or loading. And so as I land here, I now set up my left foot and now I'm pushing off with my left foot and then I hit the ball, right? So I use my right foot, then my left foot, then I hit, land, push, and hit. And so this is the footwork pattern where you basically have a lot of time on your hands. You have uh, the ball pops up, you have a lot of time to look at it, set up your feet, you could grab a book, have a cup of coffee, and then hit the ball. And so that's one way of hitting this short ball properly. The other footwork pattern when hitting a forehand short ball is what I call the push hit land or PHL, which I basically copied from Nate Gross's uh, spec tennis video, where you push off, you push off with your right foot, then you hit the ball, then you land with your left foot. So here's me again serving, Andrew's the one returning here. And here I get a short ball from Andrew that's very short, very shallow, right? But I need to run up to it. I need to run up to it to hit this short ball. It doesn't really just pop up. So I have less time to work with and I have more space. I, have, I need to run up to hit this ball, right? So when I'm running here, just watch my feet here. I'll get a closer view here. And I am now with my right foot pushing off. I'm pushing off right here. Then I'm hitting the ball. Notice I, I hit this ball here, my left foot's still up. Then my left foot lands. That's push, hit, land. Basically my right foot's pushing off, then I'm hitting, then I'm landing with my left foot. And I went with this reverse cross court, reverse forehand cross court for the winner here. And that's what you do mostly on these short balls where you have to run for it. You also use this footwork pattern going laterally or even going backward. Um, so this is probably the most, this is probably the, the footwork pattern that you'll use the most because you're probably going to run up for that short ball a lot. And it does require timing, right? You really have to time it well here, right? So you're, you're still kind of setting up. It is short, it is maybe slow, but you need to really set up your feet here to do the, the push and off, push, hit, and land pattern. And that's how you properly transfer your weight in this situation. So what do you do in these situations where, simply put, these are balls where you need to do an approach shot, but not quite a put away shot, right? So here's Navneet here. I'm the one about to do this uh, forehand approach here. Navneet hits this short ball. It's a short, shallow ball. It kind of pops up, but it's going right towards me, right? So am I gonna run through this ball like a push hit land? No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm actually going to do the first footwork pattern where I land push then hit so watch my feet here let's again get another closer view here and as i'm setting up here watch my right foot my right foot plants or loads right here then my left foot pushes off and i'm actually in this slight close stance here and then i hit this forehand here and it does end up being a put away winner right it ends up being a put away winner, but it was really an approach shot. It was a setup shot so that when I come into the net and notice me running up to the net here, that's where I can do a put away volley in case Navneet here gets to that ball and tries to pass me. And so when there, whenever there's this ball coming right at you, whenever you have time, you can set up that way with the first footwork pattern. Go with your front foot, 
push off with your front foot, that will allow you to come in. And these are approach shots, right? These are mid-court shots, approach shots, where it's not quite a put-away shot. If it's coming up right above that neck cord, right, just like in that last point, then you really have to put that away. But these are more mid-court shots. Uh, the approach shot is the better shot selection there. And whenever you do a regular approach, approach shot, you want to lead with your front foot. Use the first footwork pattern so that you can come in a little bit more easily and more balanced. Approach shots and put away balls, short balls, to execute them properly, you need to transfer weight properly and really set up with your footwork properly. So really practice these short balls and really emphasize what is going on with your feet. Yeah, maybe you need a little bit work on your forehand or backhand technique, but if your footwork pattern is not quite there, it's not properly set, you're not gonna be hitting any short ball. And even if you do, how are you gonna stay balanced and put away that volley? So work on these two footwork patterns and your short ball put aways will be much better. If you enjoyed this video, kindly do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.